Hey, as you can see on the desk here, I've got business cards. Here you go. Look at that. Bam. Fresh. Fresh and new. I've been I've been giving them to everybody. You know? I hope people are I hope people I hope people understand that when I give them my business card, like people that I know, I'm not giving it to you so that you can have it. You're my friend. I already know you. I know you can you know where to find my stuff. Give it to somebody else who would who might be into it. You know? If you well, I don't know why you'd want to be sent business cards. But if you want them to be sent business cards, let me know. I'll send them to anybody. Um I'll just, I might just look up Google Maps, find a random address, and send it to it. See what happens. I don't know. I was at the, I, uh, when was this? A couple weeks ago. I was at the gym, and I left one, my business card, on one of the treadmills. And then um, a couple days later, when my friend was there, he took a picture, and he was like, yo, it, the thing is still here. Your card is still sitting on this treadmill. I was like, what? That's crazy. How, they don't like walk around like checking for that type of stuff, like trash to like throw away. Not saying that my business cards are trash, but maybe maybe they just were like, hey, they saw it and then they checked it out themselves and then forgot about even throwing it away. I don't know. All right, I want to I want to read you guys some some life pro tips here. Um, I got some pulled up. Life pro tip: If you're in a natural disaster, place your valuables in your dishwasher. It is waterproof. That's smart. That's smart. Life pro tip: Whenever you go out with your family, take some quick photos on your phone. Not only will you have some fun memories, if anyone goes missing, you'll have a recent photo to share with authorities. True. I mean, I guess it kind of sounds like you're planning on them going missing. You know what I mean? Hey, can we can we take a photo real quick just in case anything happens to you? I'm not saying I'm going to abduct you. But if it just so happens that you get abducted by somebody that looks just like me or like this guy over here, then I can I can show, give a picture to the authorities. Like, wh- that was really dumb. I don't know why you'd you would abduct somebody and then go show a recent picture of them to authorities. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, life pro tip. When starting a new job, make it a point to notice your coworkers' office decorations. I feel like that's a good way to get to know somebody, you know? Office decorations. What kind of stuff do they have? Is that stereotyping? That kind of, but I guess it works. Life pro tip. Use the transparent plastic lids from Pringle Tubes as furniture floor protectors. Hmm, Never thought about that. Life pro tip. If you use a password manager and it allows this, designate an emergency access person so they can get control of your online accounts if something happens to you. True. I don't know. I... I'm a big person in keeping my passwords secret. You know, I've I've talked about like how crazy um my ex was and she'd be like she'd be like, "Why won't you give me your passwords? You don't trust me with your accounts." And I'm like, "No, nah, I just I'm I don't know. I'm just big in because I've so much online. Like a lot of my my life is online. You guys know. So if the wrong person gets the password, then it's like, and everything's deleted. I don't even, I don't even know how I'd feel about that. Life pro tip. When storing multiple notebooks in a backpack, alternate the binding. They won't get stuck together when trying to, that's true. I I feel like I kind of did that already. Life pro tip. If you want to get around people in groceries, in the grocery store hallway or on the hallway, in the grocery store slash hallway you're walking towards, make an obvious pointing motion in the direction you want to go. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I guess. But you just look like a weirdo. Like, it'll work. But it's like, at that point, you might as well just be like, get the fuck out of my way. You know? What's the difference? 
I am walking this way. Please move. You know what? I mean, I don't know. Before you, oh, life pro tip, by the way, this is a life pro tip. Before, <laughs> before you leave work, write down a tomorrow's to-do list. Make sure it's easier to pick up where you left off, especially coming back from a weekend. Okay, okay. Life pro tip. If you need solid Wi-Fi in an airport, the password for airline lounge Wi-Fi is often visible at the welcome desk, and you can spot it by a well-placed pier at the entrance. Huh. Okay. I've never been... I've been to an airport, never been on an airplane, so... Can't say I've had that problem. Maybe you have, though. Life pro tip, when in a meeting with unfamiliar people, always consider your, yourself to be the stupidest person in the room until proven otherwise. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I personally wouldn't do that. That just seems, it ironically seems stupid. I don't know why I'm whispering either. Life pro tip. When you get a gift, send a picture of the gift being used to the person who gave it to you. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's definitely nice. Life pro... No, request. I don't want to request. I want life pro tips. Life pro tip. Take multiple pictures of every room in your house twice a year. It'll seriously help you compile your insurance claim in the event of a fire or a natural disaster. That's smart. I'm going to go do that. No, I won't. But that's a good... There you go, guys. Take some pictures of your rooms and your houses. I don't know what you're doing. If your house would have... You don't know. It could happen to you. Life pro tip. If you take notes on a notebook, leave the first page or two blank for a table of contents. Smart. Sm I never did that. I've always had trouble looking in my notebooks uh, for the right pages that I'm on. So... There you go. Life pro tip. Never use paper towels to clean something sensitive. Most brands contain abrasive materials that will sometimes cause more damage. Huh. I've definitely, definitely had issues with that. Now I know. Life pro tip. Have lots of keys for different locks. Paint the end of each key with a different color. Nail polish and dab a spot on the lock. Ooh, that's smart. I don't have that many. I have a key for my car and a key for my house. That's about it. So I don't, I don't have that problem. Once again, maybe you do. And if you do, there you go. You have some nail polish, or if you're, well, no, I shouldn't say if you. You could be a guy have nail polish, but if you're somebody that doesn't use nail polish, you may know somebody or have somebody in your household that does have nail polish, and you can still do it. Or you can just go out and buy some. Life pro tip. If you lose your source of water, don't forget about your water heater. It's drinkable water and have valves to empty it. Are you sure about that? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would do that. Um, I, I guess it could be. It could be drinkable water. Life pro t I love this one. This is my f this is I think the most useful one. Life pro tip. Know where the local hospital is. That's it. I kind of already knew about that. Take showers with cooler water. This will discourage yourself from taking long hot showers and wasting huge amounts of water every day. I personally have uh well water. I can use all the water I want. Is that how that works? Is that is that okay for me to say, or is that still messed up? Comment down below. Correct me, please. Um, but yeah, you guys, you you guys out there using using fucking taking hour long showers, two hour long showers, maybe not two hours. If you take in a, a shower for two hours, then you have a problem. But an hour long shower, then uh, you need to slow your roll there, buddy. Life. You don't have to make it cooler. Just take shorter showers. I mean, yeah, that'll get you to take a shorter shower because you won't enjoy it as much. But if you still want to enjoy it, just know your limits. Get out in 10 minutes. That's it. 
Know your limits. Get out in 10 minutes. Where's my phone? I'm tweeting that. Taking a shit. Hold on. <laughs> See, this is what happens in my everyday life is I, I'll hear things or say things. I'll be like, I got to tweet that. Taking showers. Know your limits. Um, know your limits and save minutes. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I said, but that works. Taking showers. Know your limits and save minutes. That sounds really stupid. <laughs> but I'm tweeting it. Mm, yeah, that's definitely not right. But, uh... <laughs> Okay, that's that's okay. That's okay. People know what we're t- what I'm talking about when when they when when you hear this podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where was I? Uh, life pro tip: Never replace a breaker with a larger one due to its tripping. The breaker protects your wires, and you risk a fire by doing so. That's okay because even if so. Now you have a picture of all the rooms in your house, and so you'll be, your insurance will be fine. Life pro tip, can't open a jar? Wrap a rubber band on the jar lid and twist. I typically try to find the nearest uh, grip mechanism, but sometimes you can't find one. Especially rubber bands. I feel like rubber bands um, aren't usually at my nearest disposal in a typical situation that I'm in, in life. So, it's typically just my shirt, or like a rag or something. Life pro tip, many lawyers are often free consultation. If you think you have grounds to sue someone, meet with an actual lawyer who specializes in the issue before deciding that you won't win and can't afford it. Smart. If you're in Texas looking for life pro tip, if you're in Texas looking for a place to pump, for a place to pump, like pump gas, what? don't stop there. What do you mean? Looking at your GPS for traffic in gas station corners might help lead to the least congested. Why Texas? You can see traffic in your GPS in Texas? That's kind of cool. Is that what that means? Life pro tip. When trying to teach somebody a new skill involving mechanics, example, throwing a football, putting contacts in, etc., first try to teach yourself the same skill using your non-dominant hand. That's smart. Then you become a real pro. Life pro tip, planning on going to a concert or sporting event and using your smartphone to display your tickets. Before you leave, navigate to the ticket screen and take a screenshot. Yeah, I do that anyway. Life pro tip, if you ever need to cut a piece of PVC pipe, oh yeah, I often find myself in that situation, uh, that's in a spot too tight to fit a saw into, wrap some nylon string around it twice and pull the ends back and forth. Cuts right through it. Also works for copper pipe. Wow. That was actually very useful for my life. I'm very... Uh, I almost said appreciative. I don't, I don't believe that's a word. I've definitely used that word before. And every single time I've used it, I'm like, ah, I don't think that's a word. <laughs> appreciative. Let's look it up. Oh, that's a word. Appreciative. Feeling or showing gratitude or pleasure. <laughs> I know what it means. I just wasn't sure if it was a word. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm very appreciative of that life pro tip. <laughs> life pro tip. Wrap cinnamon sticks around the hangers holding your hummingbird feeder. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Yep. I'll just... <laughs> I got cinnamon sticks right in my kitchen and hummingbird feeder right out back. I will make sure to do that as soon as I'm done with this podcast. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm very appreciative. (laughs) Uh, Sorry. These... (laughs) 
that's that's so specific. I don't know. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Life pro tip. Uh. Life pro tip. Avoid getting soggy chicken when ordering general chow or orange chicken by asking them to give you the sauce on the side. No, 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 no. I don't. It, it doesn't get soggy. It just it gets good. It gets gets soaked in the sauce, and it's so good. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to ruin that. Life pro tip: Pen running out of ink. Hold the pen horizontally at its center and center, and shake the ends left and right. By re- everybody does that. Like that's just a natural like response. You know what I mean? Like I, now I I guess I know that it that it actually works, but. I kind of just did it naturally, you know, because even if it didn't actually work, it felt like it worked. You know what I mean? So that's just what you do. Life pro tip. If you do not like the taste of ocean water or cannot get rid of it, salted peanuts or something complemented by salt will instantly rid the taste. I mean, I guess so, but at the same time, you're putting salted peanuts with extra salt so you're basically just choosing to eat salty stuff so you won't have to taste other salty stuff i i i mean i guess if that works sure life pro tip if your car has a push to start slash remote fob i don't know what a fob is and the battery runs out use the key inside the fob to get in the car and the the fob, it does say the twice, that wasn't just me, itself to push the start button. The car will detect the passive RFID signature of the key fob and light the LED up on the push button. Press the car to start. Still don't know what a fob is. Life pro tip, not sure when and what shots you've had? Visit the CDC's website to look it up. Life pro tip, weighing yourself holding and not holding your pet, the difference will be their weight. Really? Really? That's basic scale skill. Scale skill. That's basic scale skill, bruh. If you put something on the scale, and then you put something else... Whatever the difference, that's how much that second thing is. And then whatever's left is what the first thing was. Simple math. Simple math and simple scale skill. Life pro tip to eliminate spray when opening a can, uh, a soda can or beer can, whatever. Tilt the can back slightly, uh, opening side slightly up. Tab side slightly down. When you pop the tab with the tilt, the liquid will be away from the opening and stay in the can until you say so. Until I say so. I don't talk to my cans. But thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. I feel like I'm stupid for not knowing that. But I, I didn't. I didn't know that. Life pro tip. Having difficulty with getting up early? Keep a bottle of water beside your bed and drain it as soon as your alarm rings. <laughs> what? What? It, what? Oh, like chug it? <laughs> Somebody commented, drank full bottle, fell back asleep, woke up later pissing the bed. <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem I see with that. I didn't I didn't understand that drain meant to chug it. I thought it was like <laughs> wake up and take the water bottle, run to the sink and pour it down the drain. I was like, "What?" <laughs> All right. Life uh last one maybe. I don't know. We got a few more on this page. I'll maybe finish this page. Um Life pro tip, when eating salted crackers, be sure to eat them upside down so that you can taste the salt directly on your tongue. Thanks for assuming that I like the taste of that much salt. I hate to say it, but actually, the saltines, I actually get the non-salted saltines. I'm that guy. 
I'll get like the less salted ones. The salted ones, even right side up, is, I don't know, can be too salty for me sometimes. Life, oh, that's a request. Life pro tip, cut tape at an angle so you can find the edge easier. Why have I not thought of that sooner? Life pro tip, if you're trying to tighten a loose screw in wood, just use the end of a toothpick. Trying to tighten a loose screw in wood. Use the end of a toothpick? Huh? How does that work? I learned from a veteran carpenter when I was trying to fix a cabinet door where the screw just won't get tight enough. If you add a toothpick end or two... What? what like... Use the end of the toothpick to, like, screw it in? How you can't... What? Or, like... Like, shove it... Shove it in between. Like, you got... You got the... You got the end of the nail in the wall here. And you shove the end of it in between so that it's tight in on the... The tack and... Because that makes sense. Maybe that's what he means. But the way he worded it, that's not what it sounds like or I guess I guess that's that could be what it means he's just really vague about it just use the end of a toothpick use the end of a toothpick to do what I don't know I'm not smart I don't know these things last one life pro tip using a person's name at the very beginning of a conversation will with them will make them feel more comfortable and make you more charismatic Huh. I guess so, yeah. Somebody commented, no it won't, it'll make you seem insincere and someone who's scripting the conversation. True. I find that usually those who do this are patronizing me or condescending me. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's true. I Actually, I don't like it, the more I think about it. This is exactly how the advertisers keep Donald Trump's attention by tossing. <laughs> just you just gotta say his name. Like, what? Donald Trump? Huh? Donald Trump? You said Donald Trump? Who said Donald Trump? What about Donald Trump? All right, let's not get political, okay? That's not what this podcast's about. It's not what we're about to get into. Thanks for listening uh, to the whatever podcast. I believe this is number eleven. Um, if you like, if you liked what you heard and you're listening to this on SoundCloud, please make sure to like, repost, download, share this with your friends. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, make sure to do the same. Although you can't repost on YouTube, so you got to like comment or something. You know, you can also comment on SoundCloud though too. I didn't think I said that, but comment on SoundCloud too. Give me some feedback. I, l- I love hearing you guys' feedback. I really, you know, I I respect if you. If you like what I already give you, but if there's more or something different you want me to give you, comment it. What I'm trying to say is I listen to your your feedback. I listen to your responses. And if you have an idea uh, of something that you might want changed or something that you might want different, something that you think would be better for this podcast, then um, I will I will certainly take it into consideration. You know? And that's and that's just it. And that is it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.